尊敬的各位女士、各位先生，早上好。Morning, ladies and gentlemen。那个，我欢迎各位今天光临我们的工厂。Welcome to IGA today. Thank you. It's our honor. 今天呢，我们不要在这里，因为大大概五周年，在在这里落户五周年。Yeah, today actually is, is we are past a five years anniversary to do the investment in U.S. in Dayton, Ohio. We are grateful to the U.S. government for this very important decision. They have arranged for me to be able to make a public service to me. Especially thanks to the governor, the, the governor from the Ohio, and they gave us the help, of, especially the recognition for chairman. The details are we are asking the U.S. government. Uh, yeah, now actually it's time for governor to come over. Chairman, Mr. Ambassador, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, this is a very good day for the Miami Valley and for the state of Ohio. It is really uh, good to start off the new year with this very good news about your expansion here in the Miami Valley. to learn that you will be investing $46 million on new equipment uh, as part of an expansion that will add initially 100 new jobs for Ohioans. That is very, very good news. The additional equipment and this investment will allow you to make more auto glass for SafeLight and other customers and we're very happy about that. Uh, this investment in Montgomery County increases your presence here and shows your faith in the people working at this site. Ohio has a long and proud reputation as an auto automobile manufacturing and automobile parts supplier state. Ohio is a place where world-class institutions, collaboration, innovation, and talent transform big ideas into reality. We are proud that you have made the Dayton area home. We are proud that you're going to continue to expand here. Today we are standing in a facility uh, that was empty five years ago. When the GM Auto Assembly Plant here closed in 2008, local and state leaders united to find a solution. And let me just say that I think this is a, a great example of a coming together, um, coming together of state officials coming together with the local community rallying behind uh, to take what had been bad news and turn that into good news. Chairman, um, that time you met with the economic development team from Jobs Ohio and the Dayton Development Coalition and shared your vision for this facility. In 2014, the chairman came to Columbus to announce his intention to bring his manufacturing facility here, to come here, and committed to creating 800 jobs. Today, Today, this is the largest automotive glass manufacturing facility in the world, where 2,300 Ohioans are on the job, getting benefits, and breathing new life into this neighborhood. In total, you have invested nearly $600 million to convert this plant into the world's largest glass production facility. And we are very proud of that. Your total investment is the largest ever in Ohio by a Chinese company. There have been challenges along the way, but together, 
all of us, we have worked to overcome those challenges to bring success and profitability to this location. Chairman, your confidence in the region and the people who work here remains steadfast. We value very much this partnership. Today's celebration is a reminder of the good things that can happen when people from different countries work together for a common goal. When we are working together, we're not only sharing our day-to-day -day business, we're sharing our values, our families, our culture. We're building on that relationship today. Chairman, Mr. Ambassador, uh, I look forward to a continued partnership with you and growth here in the state of Ohio. Again, this is a very happy day for Ohio and for the Miami Valley. Thank you very much. Now we went to Ambassador Hong Kong to see a few words. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. It's uh, such a pleasure for me to come back again. I was the new Council General who has been here for a year already, getting aging very quickly. And last year I came here for the first time uh, to Dayton to Fuyao. Um, I've found lots of changes now in this exhibition room. Uh, lots of uh, progress is made. So today is uh, another good day uh, to celebrate. Uh, Mr. Chao, Chairman Chao himself, came all the way from China uh, to Dayton to make announcement for further investment. He's also coming all the way. Uh, he will be to New York day after tomorrow to receive a prize granted by my ambassador, Chui Tian Kai, uh, in honor of him for his great contribution uh, in investing in America and in help building up this good relationship. I know there is another one uh, thing to be celebrated today. Uh, Mr. Liu, you have just uh, built up uh, a cafe, right? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, called a family cafe. I think this will further uh, enhance the uh, uh, connection and build up the friendship among the employees here, uh, American employees and the Chinese employees here. So I, uh, as a council general here, I want to uh, welcome Chairman Chao. I want to congratulate him for the great success uh, he has achieved in investing here in Dayton. I know there are more than 2,000 people, local people, working in this company and uh, more people will be working here for his further investment and uh, he just told me that uh, he's going to reduce the percentage of the Chinese employees from now around 8% to maybe 2 or 3% in the near future and he's going to uh, fund more or, or build up uh, it's more uh, facilities like this cafe so the relationship uh, could be uh, stronger and closer like the family members. Uh, there are lots of things going to happen but I think the most important thing is his success here, his investment here has demonstrated that China and the US we can uh, work together. Like this relationship in the past 40 years has proved, although we have a lot of differences in culture, in history, in the way we develop our country, 
but it doesn't mean that we cannot work together. Mr. Chow's success, his investment here in Dayton has demonstrated this, and we can draw this conclusion from the past 40 years that by working together, we both benefit, and the world will benefit. But when we are fighting against the other, we both suffer. I'm very happy to see that the phase one deal is going to be signed, uh, which I think will be a very good news uh, to stop this uh, trade war, which has been going for uh, two years already. And uh, we hope this will uh, build up confidence for potential future investors on both way coming to China. They are now like you know 70,000 people, uh, American investors in China, and uh, encourage more Chinese investors to come to America. Uh, Mr. Chow is a very good example. I think full yards exist here in Dayton would encourage a lot of Chinese potential investors to come to the U.S. I strongly believe that when we work together, we can build up a very good relationship based on collaboration, cooperation, and stability to bring the tangible fruits to benefit the people of our two countries and the world as a whole. So as a Council General in New York, I will do what I, whatever I can to promote uh, this uh, connection, this communication, and this relationship. Uh, do whatever we can to make this connection stronger. Thank you very much. Now it's uh, actually the, all the general store media can ask a question for the governor, for Ambassador Huang, and also for Mr. Chow. Right now, yeah, please. Any questions from the media? One, one question for the for the each media. Any? Jim. How good is business? How good is business? And how much will you trade deal with the US and sign the president's presidency? What is it? 他就说这个川普跟中共要签那个可能有一个简单的一个协议对他们不要有什么影响没有这个贸易这个这个这个我不知道他们谈的怎么样这是官方的事情我相信肯定会往这好的方向发展的 Chairman really don't know the, the details about the government, uh, the, the signing about the what's agreement they're going to upon. We don't know either. Yeah, so we just hope this is going to good, sign the good things. Turn to the good trend, you know, that's all. Anyone else? I have the same question for you. The relationship seems to be getting better between the two Sorry, Jim. Other companies from China could be making their success and thinking maybe this is for us. Well, abs absolutely. Uh, one of the things that we talked about uh, when we met a, a few moments ago in private uh, was the success. Uh, and the chairman, uh, we asked the chairman to uh, spread the good news among his, his uh, friends and other uh, Chinese companies because we, we certainly welcome in, uh, investment in the Miami Valley. We inve welcome investment in the state of Ohio. We want to continue to create more jobs. So we're very optimistic about that. Sorry. 
呃，他就说想问一下，就是您咱们整个这个玻璃，我们在这个福耀这边，对这个整个当地这个影响是什么？我相信福耀在这里呢，是不仅仅是在海外有影响，在全球都很有影响。那有这个成就呢，应该是对于我们美国和呃海尔，还有我们福耀全体员工的共同努力换来的。As you know, the Fuyao glass is the world number one auto glass manufacturer. So we're not only successful in China, we're pretty successful in global. And uh, we're successful here because we got a full support from the local government, especially the job of Ohio and also the, uh, the governor, the former governor. So we'd be proud, you know, we can do something better in Ohio. So, 对我们有什么影响？我只能说对我们会有更好的影响，因为他们两家还没签约的时候，州长今天给我一个很大的奖励，那我就很感谢我们真正做到肝胆相照的。Yeah. To answer question for the uh, for the journal, you know, we actually uh, be pleased that if even the government issue cannot be resolved uh, at the moment, but uh, between the region between the Ohio and the Fuya, we're very successful. We set a good example. You know, as uh, you know, the private chairman Kareem has said, the private the ambassador, we can do something better to show when we work together, we can do the win-win for the both countries. Yeah, Chairman said no, there is no impact for us to continue to invest as long as we have a good relationship with the governor and also the Ohio, Job Ohio. Thank you so much, Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, the governor and lieutenant governor have to leave, but we appreciate everyone being here today and hope you have an enjoyable day. Thank you. Thank you. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. One more question. Yeah. They want to ask about uh, China's new law, which was published and put into effect in the uh, January, uh, since January 1st, yes, it's now uh, in action now. This, this is a new law we published this year, uh, which will help, it's called the foreign investment law, uh, which means China encourage uh, the openness, encourage more companies from foreign countries go to China, Chinese government is going to create a more favorable environment to make the market access more <coughs> convenient and easy, and also to enhance uh, the protection of uh, intellectual property and in many other ways. Uh, this will help you know, to create a more favorable uh, environment to attract a foreign investor. In the meantime, it shows the openness of Chinese government to encourage more investors to go abroad. It's a two-way, yes? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay.